Well, hi. Today I'm going to start the cleanup and I'm going to hang this wallpaper. So let's get going. For this to be the only place I have found in the trailer that had some of this come up because it's peel and stick. That's amazing. All right. I have been really excited to do this, so let's get going on it. <laughs> It's beautiful. I already bought one that goes there and some that goes there. I can't find them and I thought maybe they're under the bed. I left up the bed. They're not there and now I can't figure out how to put it back down. Right there. Do you see that? See that stretch that's happening? It's, I mean you have to you have to really know what you're looking for. There's some right here. Do you see that? I mean, I could leave it, but there's a real risk of it getting worse and worse and then falling off the wall. I'm going to go ahead and kind of pull it. Hopefully just pull it a little piece at a time and put some spray adhesive on there a little bit at a time. Oh, let me show you this wallpaper here. So look at this with that. You see how good that's looking? But what was really surprising to me, when I get it up there, I start noticing what a blue underbase these leaves have. And so this blue color, this bluish color, is going really well with that. So when we go look for paint, we're going to look for this color paint. Oh, I think my husband brought this light in. Yep, yep. There it goes, there it goes. Yeah, whoo, you can see the difference there. Open 
See right there those folds? So if I go like this, maybe I can. That's a trick for when you're working with vinyl. Do vinyl and you all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, there's a bubble in the middle because you didn't get it. You could do that with the bubble. The corner it's not square. And so in order to do this, I had to make a slit in an overall. If you stand back, you can't see it. But if you look really close here, you can see that rose is cut. So then when it came to this piece, it was impossible because I knew there was no way I could get a perfect match all the way down. So I did this really fancy thing on this bottom half. You see, I had actually cut along, along that rose with those leaves. So I could do kind of a fake match, which worked well enough. And then this goes around the corner here. So this is the corner I've been dreading. Not learning to live, learning to die. Secrets run to the brightest of one Holding out their guns Staring straight down the sun With the coldest have won They have won But I'm not even done So I'm going to try getting this overspray off with Goof Off. Hopefully it won't damage anything. Don't you think that's pretty? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Now, doesn't that look cottagey? That looks cottagey. Some of these came from Amazon and two of them came from Timu. And because the Timu pillow comes by itself and the Amazon one comes, they come to a set, you don't save any money on Timu. But they didn't have the same patterns. This pattern and this one came from Amazon. That came from Timu. Amazon part of a set, Amazon part of a set, and this one came from Timu. I'm so excited for this. Oh, I'm so excited. I gotta go get the wallpaper paste. Here is the wallpaper. Look at how pretty that's gonna be. It's not too much, because you've got that floral thing that's like, whoa, but it's just not too much, but it brings some color in. So if I put this here, it goes around like that, and then I have it the top part of here, and then you see it in here as well. Of course, there'll be a door here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting so close. So, I don't know. It's exciting, exciting. I'm excited. I'm going to work on the curtains. And I'm just using some of these cotton dish towels. They're the kind that I grew up using. The nice thing about using these, though, is the curtains get dirty. You're just throwing the dish towels in the dryer. And these just are so absorbent and they're our favorite things. You can't use great big long curtains on trailers. 
So, but this length is long enough from a lot of the windows. And then if they are too long, then you just clip them over like that because I use rings, the clips, to hang them on the curtain rod. So depending on the length of the window, it's determined whether you have one or not. But some, my husband's vacuuming. But some of the windows are too long, so I'm just going to sew two together. So I'll just like to sew an extra on there. one inch rings that I got from Amazon. It's funny how just some curtains, it just, it's just kind of livened it up. And it's going to look so much better when I get this wallpaper in here. Yes, I feel so victorious. I am going to clean Eva today. You might say, well, why didn't you clean her before you did all of this? It's because I needed to be encouraged. It had been so long since I had worked on her and I felt kind of overwhelmed. I did clean this before I worked on it. But just to have that done and have all the curtains up, it's just given me this boost. And my whole family is so excited. They keep coming and looking and everybody's anticipating that we can finally take her out and go camping. I'm excited from when I can come camping out in the driveway. Fill in the water tank right now. Fill in the tank. Ooh, the toilet's leaking. Uh oh. God. Toilet's ah. leaking. This is what trainers do, they leak. <laughs> used to be a plumber so he knows how to fix things like that so it's a good thing he decided to look at everything when he turned the water on I want to say we did this but it's really Gary did this but I did the research and the planning and the deciding wouldn't you say honey yeah. but he is our builder I did things like hanging wallpaper and tile and stuff like that that's more of my speed and I did all the painting oh, Let's not discount the word painting because that was massive. This is something we bought from our West Jordan house.
to make the skirt for the couch. And I have worried so much about that for four years. What was I going to do? What was I going to do? So I needed to have something to cover that. And oh my goodness, how I've worried about it, how much talk we've done about it. I went out and I was trying to decide what I was going to do. Just on a whim, I stuck the pillowcases for those sheets there. And they look great. This looks so great. So I ordered myself some king pillowcases. And so I'm gonna make the skirt out of these king pillowcases. What's really nice is then it's double thick. It is going to hide what's behind there better. And of course it's a sheet, so it'll wash really well. I have really carefully ironed them so that all the seams are exactly right so that they'll be exactly the same distance apart. So I'm going to sew them together. Then we're gonna go out and put them on there and figure out exactly where the corner is, where the Velcro's gonna go so they can attach to that couch. And then when I need to wash them, I can pull it off. So I'm really excited about this solution. Unexpected, it's a blessing. You know, sometimes you just get blessed and I feel like this was a blessing that this idea came out of nowhere. Never seen anyone do it before. And I don't know how many people have to solve this particular problem in their life. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe because there will be a lot of changes in EVA in part three. We'll see you next time. Bye.